Hey everybody, it's Beth. I started with this egg shape cut out from Dollar Tree. I covered it with home decor wax by Folk Art and then blending it in with a baby wipe. I did do the back as well, but you don't need to do that. I used my heating tool to dry that completely. And then I took the white school glue once that was dry and brushed it on the front of the egg. And it just did a nice generous layer, making sure that I had the whole thing completely covered. And then while the glue is still wet, I took my plaster chalk paint and a large brush and brushed it all covering the glue and I tried to make sure to go in one direction with the paintbrush until it was completely covered with a nice layer. And then I took my heating tool and just dried it and while the paint is drying you'll start seeing the crackle effect on the egg. You can let it air dry, it would just take quite a while, but it will still make the same effect if you just let it air dry. Next, I took the foam eggs from Dollar Tree, there's eight in a pack, and I painted four of them with the hazelnut chalk paint and four of them with the sandstone chalk paint. And I did two coats on all of those, drying them in between. So what I like to do is just put them on a skewer to make them easier to paint. And then I have this little tin with some floral foam. I just stick them in so they're easier to work with and dry. Next, I took these craft sticks and cut them in half because I only needed them to be halfway up. And then I marked them where I wanted the point on the top to go to make them look like a picket fence. And then I just took my original one I used and held that on the other ones and cut it out with Fisker shears. And I ended up only needing 12 craft sticks. After I had them cut out, I did sand the tops of them just so they weren't so rough on the edges. And I placed them all on the very front of the little tray from Dollar Tree before I glued them down. And I put 10 half pieces on the front. And either end of them is sticking out just a little bit. So I made sure to line them up so they were even and I would just cut those pieces off at the end. And then on the sides, I put seven pieces. So the part that's hanging over, I just cut them with the Fisker shears. And then after I had the other set on the other side glued down, I just gave it a quick sanding. And then I ended up deciding I wanted some feet on the tray. So I just took some of these little wooden beads that I got from Dollar Tree and hot glued them to the four corners of the bottom of the tray. And then I took some painter's tape and place down the half round beads and these I get from Amazon and I placed those down and painted them with two coats of the plaster chalk paint and I only ended up needing 21 of them. I did um, do a little bit too many but that's fine I'll just save them for a later project and I also painted the tray entirely and I painted that with the plaster chalk paint as well and I did two coats on that. Next, I placed down the half round beads around the edge of the egg cutout. And I didn't go all the way down and I didn't do the bottom because the tray will be covering it. And I put 21 of the beads around. So I just set them down first to see where I wanted them and then glued them down with some hot glue one by one. After the beads were glued down, I took some of the home decor wax again and just lightly dry brushed a little bit of that wax on the beads. 
and I also dry brushed some of the wax onto the tray. And then I took the Farm Fresh sign and placed it on the egg, a little more towards the top because the tray will be on the bottom. So I just tried to make sure I had it even before I taped it down with some painter's tape. And then I did not show in the beginning, I also used black acrylic paint and a stencil brush and just lightly dabbed on the acrylic paint. I just made sure that I did not have a lot of paint on the paintbrush or else it will bleed right through. So I wanted to make sure that there was just a little bit of paint on there just went around filling in the stencil. And then to glue the tray down, I took the Gorilla Grip Glue and put a little bit of that on there and then some hot glue and then place down the tray, just making sure that the egg was nice and straight. And then I filled the tray with Spanish moss. And then the last thing I did was took the painted eggs and filled up the tray. That's it for this project. Thank you so much for watching.